There it is. Took a while now, I just got to set the hook. Oh, I get a little fell. First of all, a little hidden weight back. Not hidden weight, weightless dig out. Don't laugh at me. I would have remembered it. I'm going to walk and stalk a few carp for an hour. It's a bit of a challenge. You can do everything right and be one inch off with the cast. Spook a fish that you work for 10, 20 minutes on. So. Too close. I haven't seen it. on it. Deep and deep today. One up here. He's a monster, this one, he's just cruising. Where is he going to go? I'm going to wait and try and get on the next point. So he comes up. Ooh, I like that one. He's got fun written all over him. It, buddy. Come on. Oh, you want it, you want it. Oh. Damn. Right, I'm down here looking for carp today and they, they all went down with that wind. Hey. So I walked down to where I caught a little bass the other day and walked up and down this bank, the bag's just there, walked up and down this bank for half an hour over all these mid-water logs. Come here buddy. Anyway, 
Oh, look at them. Mess. There's the spinner bait. I just put this spinner bait on. And the first midwater snag I hit, not only up comes a bass, but up comes a silver bass. A little chunky silver bass. See how wide he is? See how fat he is? He's spawned. And he's feeding, he's been feeding his way back up the creek. He's over two years now and heading home. Now he comes straight off that snag there, so I'll put him over here. It just goes to show oh, I could have quite easily walked away from here thinking that there was no fish here. And that one switch across to a purple spinner bait, and bang, here they are. That's the trick with bass fishing, it only takes finding out that one key thing. The other day it was a it was a diver. And today it, straight away the reaction off that told me I, there's I doubt if I get another off this snag, but I'll just show you what I was doing. Actually just as I got up to it, it felt like you could just feel that bump bump. I'm thinking I'm hitting timber and next minute bang I was on. That chopping sound right up that back bank. I'm gonna fairly quickly wind it up to these logs. It's like a hump and hop. We wanna hump it up over it. More hump and drop and then drop down that side. And we can keep hitting the one spot over and over, but that bass comes so quick that I'll just hit each midwater snag like that more to the point, I think. The date doesn't determine spring. The moon determines spring. That little flower, this little hatch of midges, the green shoots on the forky trees, fawny trees. They all started because this moon, new moon's just gone through. It's declared spring. Simple as that. Even though we're a couple of days off it. So the big water doggies are out. There you go. There he is. There's my girl. Big girl there. Wrong angle. So what I want. Take it. Oh. Oh no, he's going to have to go for a swim. You in, you're way too quick for me, buddy. Game on. Test the rod. That was a long way. I'm 
buddy. Now it's spring when these guys are out. And three days ago. I've seen the odd one today, I've seen about six or seven big males like him. Looking for food. He knows I'm here, but he can't help himself. <laughs> he is beyond you. <laughs> See you, buddy. side of them. <clears throat> I've got the wind coming across me. Ooh, and they're both in current lines going down that way. I don't think I'll get this one here, but the other one looked prime. Okay. Yeah, it did. I actually needed a bit of a twitch to make him turn for it. Anybody. His mate doesn't even know he's... Get down here where I can turn him around a bit. I'm going to try and keep him up out of that weed. Turn him again. That'll wear me out quick. See, that's three turns. Alright, here going for his run again. Just keep turning the rod. Now I'm going to turn it back this way. Whatever way you want him to go, you t just push the rod. Oh, they have some power. Just keep spinning this guy around. Let him turn on one side, they, you won't wear him out. Look, look at him. So he needs that big turn. He's starting to get tired now. <laughs> Come this way, come this way, come on. Good girl. Stay up, stay up. Oh. Here she is, a monster. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come back, come back. I haven't got that heavier line today. How oh. oh, am I going to get him out of here? <laughs> I sort of thought about that when I threw the bait in. I'm shaking, mate, over a carp. <laughs> this one might win. If I just hold that straight line. I can feel him rubbing, but if I hold that straight line, he should walk back out from under that tree. Like he has. Oh, that got me shaking. Where's it going now? Come on, come on, come on. Back there. Oh, he's a big fish. Now I've just got to keep playing him. And if I can keep swinging him around here. No. 
I've got 10 pound leader, so I'll keep swinging around, working around. Hopefully, I'll wear him out. You can hear it in my breathing now. This is exciting. Oh, I've got an Eddie Studman little rubber crab on it. Just floating no weight. Oh, and the drop shot hook, the little drop shot hook is as sharp as. I keep bringing him around. They like diesel motors, they just gotta keep going, come on, keep going around. It's the same sort of technique I use on a Jew when I'm fishing with brim gear. Just send them around in circles. Oh. Oh. I've got to get him over this log. He's just about gone. I've nearly landed him. Come on. Come on, buddy. Let's get you up over here. Yes. Oh. What a battle. Not much left in you now, buddy. Oh. Oh. That was exciting. I still haven't landed him, but... Oh, my goodness. Oh. Come here, mate. You know why I'm calling you, mate. You're going to die in a minute. Oh no. Come on, back, 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 back. Come on. He's not landed yet. This time. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Oh, 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 oh. I'll leave the rod there. Get up here where he's. Oh, what a battle. There he is. Mate, and under that log, oh, 